let's get back to it. One thing I didn't do properly was, oh no, no, we're all right. We're all right. Okay. Um, right, let's get some details. So with this now I'm using a Prado. It's a, uh, a small brush. I think it's a size 8. It's still, oh, it's a, um, yeah, it's still from a scolder anyway. No, then, get a nice rich colour. Now, let's get some of these windows in here. So, let's go from here. Now the, the trick is when we are putting detailing is not to overstate what you what you're doing, just to infer, just to suggest. Always suggest, don't overstate. So, and it maintains that looseness. Okay, so. We've got windows coming at this angle now. See, I'm not bothered about the corners or anything like that. We just want the viewer to know that these are windows. And they'll put in the rest themselves. And there's a shadow there. The mind will do a lot of this painting for the viewer. Okay, so that's that bit done. Let's get a stronger colour. Now I'm not really concerned where places like that there are three windows might someone might say oh there's only two windows there. That don't matter. It really doesn't matter. Unless you upset the architect, then it ain't a problem. At the end of the day, it's my painting. And if I want three across instead of two, that's down to me. Let's just get a bit of So all we're essentially doing is just redrawing this picture now with just putting it in certain areas and you just get to know where to put these stronger lines to experience to be honest with you. They don't want to go too mad. We've got to give the viewers something to do. Ah, uh, it's a two way street. So we've got some strong shadows here with these these bushes. Just underneath there.
you know. I should have done this before and it didn't. Okay, let's see if we can correct it. Half of this, so we go on over there, half of this painting, this here should be in that colour. And let's get rid of that. So that was a mistake I made earlier on. So you're not drawing it properly. But we'll get away with this. I'm sure we'll get away with this. So now I'm using the tip of the brush just to destroy these windows here. Blend them into the back. It will be able to get away with this. And what we're going to do now is draw where they should have been. to dry and we've got to put the new windows in there no where were we to colour don't run for such a dark colour of that. No, I just had some shadows in there. They come basically across there from the bottom. And there. Now let's get to the second part of there where you're putting shadows within the window panes now. So I make a richer a richer paint of um, of grace and then just at the top of these little shadows here windows I can put an extra little just a little dot and that will show there's a Bit of depth within those window panes there. Right, while that's drying, let's get some warm colour here. So, up there, just using red here. Over here, over there,
wait for it to dry. Now, with a thin brush, I can now add these little bits of information over here. Go there, and now just a little bit of detail on the buildings here. Just show that there's a there's a bit of brickwork going on. So I make it quite a loose. I'm not putting bricks in bit by bit. I'm just indicating indicating all the way along just indicate suggest and what this does this little bit of uh, work it brings the whole painting together and bring it all the way through here through little bits of cobblestones there Kind of forms a connection between the left and the right. Just these little, they're just little daubs, really. They're not important in and of themselves, but when you put them towards the end of the painting, they fetch it all together. things here and that my friends I would say is don't it's a moment the truth is when you remove the the white show the white There you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little tutorial. It's uh, it's quite a meaty. It was quite a meaty project, really. Um, it's quite a big scene to, to paint. Uh, lots of different techniques and effects were going on in there. Uh, wet and wet and um, wet on dry and uh, soft edges and harsh edges and having your, your colours concentrating on warm areas and cool areas and um, working it all together, uh, bringing it all together it does it creates a lovely little painting so thank you very much for watching uh, please write some lovely comments at the bottom for me and come and see me at my website it's uh, www.somersetartist.com thank you very much